Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Nkelzi, welcome back, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the new update which is coming to Xbox and PlayStation 4. So obviously this update is already out on PC, but I thought as a refresher because the uh, it has been out for a while on PC, and some of that f uh, stuff that's come out hasn't really been trickled through to PlayStation and uh, Xbox as much. And as it is away, one day away from the update itself, I thought I'd give us all a refresher of all the stuff that is coming and the most important bits to me and I think you guys as well so we're not going to be looking at everything we're going to be looking at some of the most important features of the mod 13 update so first of all we're going to be looking at the new weapons so I'm not going to go in these massively in depth because I know most people have covered them on PC and if you are interested in this you're probably going to know about it already anyway but we are going to touch upon them so there is five new weapon sets so obviously the main hand and off hands and um, they're going to be all sorts of different things so we've got the tyrant set um, so these are in traded in Port Nyan Zaru for Teeth of the Tyrant. So you can see that the artifact set at the start of combat, your damage healing and damage resistance is increased by 1% for every 5 seconds you are in combat. Uh, these increase by 1%. So again, very nice set. Um, these are going to be good for the um, the actual hunts themselves. So you're going to get a main hand and off hand. Something else to note with these: all of these new weapon sets are actually going to be um, able to be what's called exalted, which is the same as vivified. We had that with the Storm King's Thunder, um, the armor pieces. You had the head, the chest, arms, and the feet. You could uh, vivify them and make them better. Um, except in this way, as far as I know, you're not going to have to have an upkeep. You are just going to need to do weekly uh, quests and dungeons and things like that which is gonna, we're going to get onto later which then you are going to be able to uh, actually infuse into your main hand and off hand and then you're going to be able to exalt them which makes them better and it is quite a bit better uh, I think they've done it they've improved it since they had this mod on preview so um, I can't wait to get them I'm going to be using them and uh, for me personally I will be using the pioneer set which is uh, probably a very very nice one to have for DCs and also uh, paladins I cannot wait. So these new sets from the Pioneer Weapons are going to be purchased this gear from the Chult Campaign Store for the Omian Treasures. So this is the new currency which is coming with the update. And uh, we're going to be getting on to that a little bit later as well anyway. So these are the normal. Uh, so once you've done these, you're going to get these and uh, be able to infuse them and get them into uh, Legendary. And then the bottom set, which is the Exalted. So that's going to be very interesting. I think it's going to be very, very nice to get that to 520, which is the new item level of that. Pioneer gives you power, power and defense, uh, and recovery, crit strike, and armor pen when you have five members in the party. So it is a very, very nice set for us indeed. I'm going to have a quick look. I did hover over the other ones for you guys to look at. But the Pilgrim set um, is coming from the Zen Market. The Primal is coming from the Seals of the Brave. So as long as you've stashed up, you will be able to buy, I think it's at least one of them, um, of the Seals of the Brave. And then you will have to wait until you can get some more Seals of the Brave um, throughout your uh, Tome of the Nine Gods as well. Cradle of the Death is the... Uh, the new epic trial which is coming out so we're going to be able to get the a new artifact set itself the artifact set is quite nice I think it's going to be used um, more for PvP um, than anything it is whenever you gain health by lifesteal you gain 10 pit points equal to 25% of the health gained to a total of 5% of your health so this is, as I say, it's going to be quite nice for PvP. Um, I think it would still work. You could probably integrate it into an actual uh, PvE build itself as well. But I think it's primarily going to be used for PvP itself. Then we're going to have a look at the Omu's finds and treasures. So these are some of the, the basic things you're going to look at um, and getting in the new area of Omu itself. So some of these you can see already, Associate Star, Curiosities, so you can find these in there anyway, but it's just going to be part of the actual uh, collection, and you're going to be able to get these from the new area itself. 
the other thing to note is that we've got in this page itself, just on this page, we've got the Lizard Man's Skull Mask. So that is a new piece of gear, which is not that bad actually. When your health is greater than 75%, your critical strike is increased by 1,500. So that's alright. If you get that and you haven't got a piece of gear which is as good, why not put it on? Uh, and then we also have the Ring of the Grave Striker. So this is a... Uh, a very very good piece of gear that you can get and uh, unfortunately though it is out of the hunts um, which is a little bit annoying because they drop rates of them and being able to do the hunts often and, uh, and enough that it's quite hard to get them but if you're able to get yourself a, a grave striker you're gonna be very happy 1000 power when you have greater than health of 85% so then we go to move into some more of the hunts themselves, which is the Omu Chitters. We've got some more rings in here, which is uh, the Death Dasher, and we also have another headpiece in there as well. Now, I'm going to flash along these and talk a little bit more as well. So these new pieces of gear are going to be very, very good to acquire, and most of them are probably going to uh, either surpass or at least be as good as the gear that we've got right now. So, if you're waiting to upgrade something that you already have, or you're thinking about maybe changing some gear, if I were you, I would wait until we've had this update and try and get as much gear as you can possible because obviously everyone has the new area and they want to do the new stuff. They want to be able to get the new gear or at least be able to have a chance of it to change it. So why don't you go ahead, do the new stuff, get it. There's a lot of people on uh, PC while I've been streaming, they've been saying, look, this is not good. This new epic trial, oh, this new weekly, no good. Don't get none of the, uh, the stuff out of it. It's no good. It's no good. Well, the new content is there to be played, and people are still going to play it. The, my my opinion of it is just do it. Get it out of the way, get it done, especially with the new boons. So we're going to be talking about that next, is the new boons. So the Fane of the Serpent is the new um, weekly challenge. So it was the same as the uh, House of the Crocodile. And um, this is going to be getting you the new currency. And you're going to need that if you want the new Pioneer set, which is what I need anyway. So I'm going to be doing that a lot. So I can't wait to do that. See what it's all about. See what it's like. It's going to be good fun. And getting the new set itself. But people need to still do them. You've got to do them to get the, um, the actual weekly stuff for the um, boons. So let's go and have a look at boons right now. So it's going to be a little bit confusing but then once you explain it um it's going to be all right so the new the new campaign or the omu boons are actually the same as the jungles of the chult it will be able to give you you will get three points the first time you do jungles of the chult you'll get three points in here in this first tier and then you will get one point to do into tier two here so you get soul siphon lingering curse death's blessing or impenetrable jungle now, when you start doing the boons in um, Omu, you will then get another boon, which will go in here, and you'll get another three, which will go in the bottom, and you'll get another one, which can go in here. So you could have Soul Siphon and Lingering Curse, or you could have Death's Blessing and Soul Siphon. The combinations go on and on and on, but as I say, you can get two now. So originally, in most of the campaigns, you could only have, uh, you go down either one, or you either have one of those, or one of those, one of those, one of those, and then this one, you can have a choice of three of each. Now, you get a huge one, which is the two, and you can have two points into it, which is quite nice, which I like that a lot. But as I say, you can have three of these, so you might want three power out of this, so you gain a thousand power and 1,600 maximum hit points, and you want the extra damage from the dinosaurs or against the dinosaurs as well. So you can have six points in the bottom, and you can have two points in the top, which is great. I, I really like the idea that they're implementing in that one. That is a very, very great idea. And then the Cradle of the Death, which is the new epic trial. So this has got three tiers on it. Um, you've got the lift, which goes down further into the tomes itself, which is going to be great. You fight undead and uh, other enemies as well along the way. Then you get into a main room. 
and you fight the Soulmonger himself and uh, finally defeat him and then you get the new boss enemy or looking boss which is the Atropol. So he is a death god himself but he is not quite ready so he's just a little baby blob mess on the screen and uh, once you kill the Soulmonger the floor, some of the floor collapses and you will no longer be able to move on those areas. If you get knocked off you will die. So you need to keep on the areas, just get in a good group and you can do a very very nice uh, dungeon and epic trial. So anyway guys, if you've enjoyed this video and this quick look at mod 13 for you guys on PlayStation and PlayStation uh, Xbox and PlayStation 4, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. I will be streaming on Tuesday the uh, mod update itself. It's gonna be big, it's gonna be a long stream, I cannot wait. Anyway guys, as I say, thank you so much for coming along and I will see you next time.